The planet is reeling under extreme weather. Global temperatures are soaring to historic highs and torrential rain has swamped cities. On Monday, the world's two biggest carbon emitters, the United States and China, sought to reignite talks on climate change, with US climate envoy John Kerry urging both sides to cut methane emissions and coal-fired power. That as forest fires raged in Europe, ahead of a second heat wave, which could see the continent break its highest recorded temperature of 119.8 Fahrenheit, possibly on the Italian island of Sardinia. Across Turkey, firefighters continued to battle with blazes for a second day on Monday. Water was dropped from the air to try to quell flames which had already forced three villages to evacuate. It was a similar story for Spain's La Palma, with over 300 firefighters working to contain a raging forest fire. 4,000 people on the Spanish island were forced to evacuate from surrounding villages, and authorities said the conditions were far from being stabilised. For Asia, it was torrential rain. In South Korea, dozens of people were left dead as river levees collapsed, causing flash floods. And search efforts continued on Monday as authorities walked through thick mud in search of further victims. India's New Delhi remained waterlogged days after the Yamuna River overflowed into the city. It rose to its highest level in 45 years last week. According to the government, thousands of people were evacuated to relief camps to escape the flooding. And Typhoon Talim was gaining strength due to make land at night along China's southern coast, forcing the cancellation of flights and trains. Over in the US, nearly a quarter of the population fell under extreme heat advisories. California's Death Valley officially recorded 133 Fahrenheit on Sunday. That's just one degree away from the hottest recorded temperature on Earth, according to the World Meteorological Organization. Scientists say the target of keeping global warming within 1.5 degrees Celsius of pre-industrial levels is moving beyond reach, with evidence of the crisis everywhere. And the World Health Organization chief urged world leaders to act, tweeting that the climate crisis is happening.